Hi, we're Sophie Tucker. I'm Sophie. I'm in Geneva. I'm Tucker. I'm in Ibiza. And you're watching our iHeartRadio Ask Us Anything chat. Thank you to Romeo and Most Requested Live for having us on tonight to talk about our new song, Summer in New York, and other things. Um, Jenna from Arlington, Texas, asks us, how do you pronounce your full names with the proper New York City hometown accent? I'm going to say I'm horrible at accents. I feel like you're going to nail this one. Like, I guess, what, like a Long Island, New York City? Like a a Sophie Tucker. Like a Sophie Tucker. Not bad. Can you say say Tucker Halpern like that? Tucker Halpern. (laughs) Tucker Halpern. Tucker Halpern. I don't know. It's not that either. (laughs) Okay. Cassie from Las Vegas, Nevada. Mets or Yankees, Jets or Giants? Neither and neither. Yeah, I mean, for me, it's neither or neither, not because I have any other preference, but because I know nothing about any of them. For me, it's Red Sox, Patriots. (laughs) Chelsea from Denver. How did the new single come together? Well, we were sitting in our house in south florida during the pandemic after hundreds of days of not interacting with anyone else and doing our live streams uh every day and we were missing interacting with people we were missing life we were missing social scene we were missing going out to clubs we were missing running into friends randomly we were missing all the little things about being in new york in the summertime that are so special Yeah, so we basically wrote a song about it, and then we were listening to the song on repeat because we really like it. And then we were like, why don't we move back to New York? This sounds very fun. And so then we moved back to New York. Toria from St. Louis asks, how is touring going for you? Touring is going very nicely right now. I mean, I'm at home with my parents uh, in Switzerland and Tucker's in Ibiza, so I definitely cannot complain that touring brought us here. We had a couple of very grueling days for a little bit. In general, touring, I think, has been amazing. It's It's been difficult for so many different reasons. We were on a live show tour on a tour bus, and trying to avoid COVID uh, was very difficult, living on a tour bus, playing shows to thousands of people and traveling every day. And uh, we had some hiccups. Sophie got COVID, then I got COVID, and we had to cancel some shows and reschedule. And I think that's just the world we live in. But it, I mean, it was d- more difficult than it was beforehand. And now we're on a DJ tour around Europe, and the obstacles are a little different. It's basically getting from one country to another country for a show in consecutive days without much sleep, playing really late sets and trying not to lose our bags and not get delayed too much at the airports. I really don't get how the Spaniards do it. Like I was asking uh, the our liaison on the way to the airport, I was like, how do you go to shows at 4 a.m. and then like wake up for your job the next day? She was like, yeah, I don't, I don't really get it, but we do. It's, but like everything starts at like 9 a.m. instead of like 7 a.m., but still it's, it's wild. Yeah, we, we just played our set in Barcelona a couple of days ago. It was 3.45 a.m. to 5 a.m. And then I went straight to the airport to come to Ibiza at a 7 a.m. flight. Oof. And they changed the plane. So I was there, got bumped off the plane, was there for two hours trying to get a new plane, got one for 5 p.m. that day. So I had an entire day of travel. Okay, Julia from Columbus wants to know what is your favorite car? Take it away, Tuck. Ooh, there's so many. <laughs> I've been thinking a lot. I've been driving around in Ibiza and there's a lot of dirt roads. Um, like off, it's very off-roady. So I was thinking having some like big off-road lifted thing would be cool. Wait, but do you want to... Tell them about Kiki or Ken. Yeah, so I have that in Florida, basically. I have a big uh, 
Ram Rebel. It's uh, it's pretty much my dream truck. It's wrapped in cheetah print and green and says 33 in ST and uh, is cheetah print uh, decals. I mean, it's it's crazy. It has lights on Very the low. bottoms. Super low key. It's pretty fun. It's like it's like very fast and furious. Like twelve year old me was going in on the design of this car. Twelve year old you is you. It's so do I have a tattoo of Kiki right here? Okay, next question. Loni from Clearwater. Do you think performing the same set list on a tour would get boring? I mean, we have performed the same set list on a tour many times, and I don't think it's boring at all because every oh, no, night we switch it up a little. Yeah, but it's it's relatively similar. Like every night is yeah. such a different experience with what happens with the audience, like what happens even it's not like it's not like I do the same thing every night, but actually I find that when we're doing it enough and we've done it over and over and over again, I actually find it to be more fun because then I'm not thinking so hard about what I'm doing, but I'm actually able to just like be in that like flow state and not not try to think very hard. And it actually makes it more fun when like, when we have a similar set list and we kind of dial it in, that's, that's the most fun for me. Yeah, and that's for the live shows. And obviously in DJ shows, we're DJing and it's, never the same so yeah. that's always sort of interesting trying to read a room we just played the main stage at croatia i mean at ultra europe in croatia and it was so hard trying to read the crowd because we were so far from the crowd on the biggest stage ever mm -hmm. i don't think they could see us personally that, that well it was just such a gigantic stage and there were people from like every country so I don't, yeah, I, if I looked at different little pockets, maybe I could read what maybe that little group of people wanted. But as a whole, it was, it was just so, it was mm -hmm. so interesting. Ellie from Greensboro, do you design your own merch? Sometimes we, we, some of our merch we've designed, some of it we haven't. Some of it's um, been designed by I'm, the fan. I'm actually wearing some of it right now. This is one of my favorite things. I actually played pickleball on a tennis court in the okay. white tennis outfit. The key is the back. Love, love. Yeah, the back. Yeah, it says love, love on the back. But I just love this, like, actual white polo shirt. It's really nice. All right. Thanks again for watching our Ask Us Anything chat. Our new song is called Summer New York. Thank you to Romeo and Most Requested Live for having us tonight. And uh, I hope we answered your questions to your liking.